This is a small isopod with a long name, which I think is definitely worth keeping. Hi, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here, and today's video is a species profile of Armadillidium cf. espanuli marbleized. The cf. is an abbreviation of the Latin word confere, which means to confer or to compare with. It is used in taxonomy to refer to specimens or populations that appear very similar to and may actually be a species that has been described, but some doubt remains as to whether the specimen or population is actually that described species. So, in other words, this means that there is a species by the name of Armadillidium espanuli, which has been described, and the species in the hobby, which is here on the screen, may or may not actually be a espanuli, but even if it isn't, it looks very similar to it. The name Espanuli is a reference, of course, to the country of Spain, which is where this isopod originates. It's a small species. In my culture, I have never seen an adult specimen reach even a centimeter in length, maybe more like 0.75 centimeters, though I have heard reports of them getting a bit larger. As far as I know, the term marbleized, though it is used as if it denotes a morph, just refers to the wild type, which, as you can see, has a very unique appearance. The resemblance to actual marble may be a little fanciful, but I think you can see why the name was chosen. Check these critters out under a macro lens. There are no morphs of this species in the hobby that I am aware of. Like all other Armadillidium species and a number of other less closely related isopods and other genera, this species can conglobate. This seems to be a moderately prolific species once it gets established. I wish I could tell you an average brood size, but gathering that data would actually be a lot more complicated than it sounds. If you decide to take that on, let me know what you find out. I can say that they seem to have smaller broods than many Armadillidium species, but I nearly always see juveniles in the enclosure. Before I get into the care of Armadillidium cf. espanuli marbleized, I'd like to thank my patrons. Patreon.com is a way that can help content creators continue to produce what you enjoy. If you enjoy watching my videos, then Patreon is one of the best ways that you can help me to keep doing it. In return, if you would like me to, I acknowledge your contribution in various ways. One of those ways is to put your name in the credits in the video, as you will see at the end of this video. To become an Aquarimax Pets patron, Search for Aquarimax Pets on Patreon.com, or just click on the link that I'll put at the end of this video and in the description. And now on to care for these marbleized little beauties. They really need a short common name. Am I right? I think I'll call them marbles in the rest of this video, and we'll see if it sticks. As far as size of an enclosure, you may start with the standard six quart bin, or even smaller, since these marbles are really diminutive creatures. Some armadillidium really like a strong moisture gradient with that very clear dry side and may spend a lot of time on the dry side of the enclosure, but marbles seem to spend more time on the damp side. That doesn't mean that they should have a moisture gradient, but you might want to make the moist side around 50 to 60 percent of the enclosure. And as I've mentioned, these are pretty small isopods, so an inch of substrate is probably enough, but you could go deeper if you wanted to. Provide plenty of leaf litter and hides for them. I find them congregated under the bark hides as well as scattered throughout the leaf litter. I provide moderate to high ventilation to my marbles. Humidity and airflow vary depending on the conditions in the room in which you keep your isopods, so the ventilation that suits your setup will be influenced accordingly. This species seems to thrive at normal room temperatures, and the temperatures in my animal room vary from about 65 Fahrenheit on winter nights to about 78 Fahrenheit on summer days and they do not seem to mind either extreme or anything in between. Marbles get the same basic foods I provide to all of my isopods. Supreme isopod chow, bits of vegetables such as raw sweet potato, green beans, summer and winter squash, fish food pellets, and the list goes on. I haven't kept this species in a cleanup crew, and I would hesitate to do so in a planted enclosure since many armadillidium will nibble on live plants. In a non-planted enclosure, it might work in an enclosure without anything that would be inclined to eat this species. If you have ever attempted utilizing marbleized as a cleanup crew, let me know about your experience down in the comments. 
Now let's discuss marbles in terms of a pet and or display isopod. This species is on the small side, but it doesn't seem to be particularly shy and has a striking and attractive appearance. They're not very expensive or difficult to work with, and they're pretty easy to obtain. So if you are looking for a unique display isopod that will fit in a fairly small enclosure, this is a good option. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets with lots of isopod content. And this is part of a growing playlist, which you can check out here, on isopod species profiles. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.